Second Life isn't the only company that hosts virtual worlds on the internet. There's also a company known as Kitely, capital K-I-T-E-L-Y, and it's going to be important at some point that we become familiar with Kitely, just as we become familiar with Second Life. So today is the first time I'm going to try to set up a Kitely user account and install the Kitely software. So in this way it's similar to starting out with Second Life. You first of all um, open a user account and then you also install the viewer. So I'm going to first of all open up my web browser and I'm using Chrome in my case and we're going to go to the Kitely website. I'm going to type www.kitely, K-I-T-E-L-Y, dot com and press the enter key on my keyboard. And this is the Kitely web page. So I notice looking at this page uh, what hits me at the top of the page is create new account. Each new account creates one virtual world. I'll just scroll down. There's some different um, fee-based structures. There's a fixed monthly price and there's time-based billing which is rather like minutes I think like when you use a cell phone so you pay for the amount that you use. Now much of the information on this website is more for folks that are developing the worlds um, rather than the users. So as we go through this I'm going to focus on uh, the viewpoint of the user just coming into Kitely to use worlds that are already existing. So I'm going to click on create new account and it brings up a box that says create new account and it gives me three options I notice. It says you can connect using a third party service and that's either Facebook or Twitter. And then at, underneath that, uh, which is not stressed in this box, it says create an email password and an email slash password account. I'm going to click face the Facebook uh, connection here and we'll see what happens. It says Kitely Worlds On Demand would like to access your public profile, friend list, email address and groups. So I'm going to click OK on that. And now we're waiting. Now it says getting started. We we'll, we welcome to Kitely. Quick start. Go to the Kitely Plaza world page. Click Enter World and follow the instructions. Now before I go to the Kitely Plaza world page to go through the quick start, I'm just going to write down the login details at the bottom of this Welcome to Kitely box because I don't know yet if I'm going to need those. So I notice at the bottom of the screen here there is a username and a password that's given. So I'm just going to make a note of those um, in case I need those in the future. So I think that's the one we want is the quick start. So I'm going to click the Kitely Plaza link. Now it's opened up a different web page and I see Kitely Plaza at the top and on the right hand side I see virtual world but there's a large button that says enter world. So I'm going to click on that. It says please install Kitely plugin. The Kitely plugin make it, makes it possible to enter Kitely virtual worlds with one click. So now it's actually asking me if I want to install the Kitely plugin. 
So I'll click on that. And in Chrome it's installed some, it's downloaded some software which in Chrome I see fla uh, an indication flashing at the bottom of my screen. So I'm going to double click that and now it says do I want to run this file I'm going to click on run and now there's a, a wizard that lets me install the plugin it says it's finished installing the plugin click finish to exit setup and now it says congratulations the Kitely plugin has been installed successfully now it's asking me to install a second um, piece of software called the Virtual World Viewer. It says install Virtual World Viewer. I'm going to click on that and it says you sh should now be downloading Firestorm, the Virtual World Viewer. And again in Chrome, I'm looking at the bottom here, I can see the software. It's got, it's called a executable file. It's got DEXC at the end. Um, Phoenix Firestorm and it's currently downloading. So we'll wait a little while for that. And then or once it downloads, again uh, with these types of installation files or program files, you can double click on them and they will um, then go ahead and activate the software. <coughs> now if you don't have Chrome you may have to locate where these uh, these pieces of software are being stored, these installation programs, and double click them from either the folders or some other location that you can find them. Again with Chrome I can I can access it right from the bottom of my browser. So it's almost installed. I've got about 10 seconds left. I'm sorry, it's almost downloaded. I've yet to install it. And do do do. Now it's it's there. It's been downloaded. And I can double click on it from in Chrome right from down here. And now it says it's asking me if I want to uh, uh, allow this program to make changes. I'll say yes. Select a language. English is OK. I'm going to agree. Now I click install. And now it's installing the viewer just in much the same way that you needed the um, the viewer in Second Life, you also need this viewer that's called Firestorm uh, in order to view the virtual worlds in uh, the Kitely, uh, soft, um, Kitely hosted worlds. So this may take a little while, it's, it's uh, extracting the information and then soon it'll probably go through a series of uh, steps that I may have to respond to. So we'll just wait for the, the software to finish unpacking itself from the downloaded software. And wait, wait, wait. Still coming. still here. I'm just waiting. Ah, it looks like it's it's actually gone through without me having to do anything. So I'm going to click f Start Firestorm now. And again, it's bringing up s boxes just like the Second Life viewer did. And it's just like the Second Life viewer. Um, there's a box for a username and a box for a password and a login key here. 
Now I'm just going to um, minimize this by clicking the little dash at the top of the screen. So it says after the download completes install Firestorm. We've done that. Start Firestorm. Once it has started successfully close it. So I'm just going to um, go back to Firestorm and close it. I'll click the red X at the top and it says am I sure that you want to quit? Yes. And then it says return here. Close this dialog. You can now enter the world. So I'll click OK. It says congratulations the world viewer has been installed successfully. I'll close that. And now it says I can enter the world. And it says it's free, so we'll see about that. There shouldn't be any charges for that. Now it's loading the viewer again. I've actually started coming into this virtual world from the Kitely website on the internet. And it's actually brought me right to... Uh, I haven't had to enter a username or a password and I see, I notice at the top it has my name. Now I'm getting some messages. I'm using Windows 8. I'll have to allow access for those and I'm all there. I've got a username. It looks like my username is Jim Hodgkinson. I have a mail body. So it, uh, it seems that Kitely, when you go through Facebook, takes the information from your uh, Facebook information and creates the avatar for you as well as gives you a username for that. So uh, we'll leave our avatar at the plaza here at the moment and we'll explore the Kitely Plaza uh, again another time.